finding real and significant trend channels is one of the most important skills in trading and technical analysis. But did you know that there's a powerful indicator on TradingView that does that for you? In today's video guys, we will take a look at this amazing TradingView indicator. We will take a look at how to set up this indicator. We will take a look at how it works. But most importantly, we will take a look at how you can use this indicator in your trading strategy. So sit back, grab a large cup of coffee and without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so first of all, how do we open and set up this indicator? Well, we go up here to TradingView and we go to our indicators tab and we want to search for trend channels with breaks. And we want to go down here and choose our indicator by chart prime. And just like that, the trend channels appeared on the chart. The first thing you want to do here is that you want to go up to the settings tab of this indicator to check that the settings is correct. And let's start by taking a look at the inputs tab. As for the length, which is basically the look back period of the channels, I recommend you guys to keep this one on 8. I also recommend to have this option where it says show last channel checked because then we can at least see two channels here on the chart. If you want to, you can also check this extended line option. And as you can see, when we check this option, the trend channels will be extended. But for me personally, I prefer to have this one unchecked. Let's go to the next tab here where it says style. I recommend to have the labels option checked here because if we uncheck this one, you can see that the label for when the trend channels break actually disappear. So I recommend to have this one checked. As for the line fills, this is personal preference. You can see right now we have some pretty thick lines here on the trend channel we have a sort of upper band and we have a lower band if you want to prefer to only have lines you can basically check this option right here and you can see that the fills disappeared and you have a more sort of clean looking trend channel but once again i prefer to have this option checked here because when we look at trend channels it's important to understand that these resistance and support lines will never act as perfect lines you should always look at these levels as zones so that is why i do think it's a good option here to have these ones as zones rather than lines. And you can also see here that we have a line in the middle of the channel. If we want to, we can uncheck this line. This is something you can do. I will actually do it because I prefer to have just a clean channel. And now we are ready to click OK. But all right then, so how does this indicator actually work? Well, the indicator automatically identifies and plots channels based on pivot highs and pivot lows. And if we zoom in here, you can also see that we get signals when the trend channels break. I'm pretty sure MV here stands for medium volume and LV here stands for low volume. And this is important to understand because in order to have a strong breakout, we usually want to see lots of volume. To confirm this, let's open up our volume indicator. So we go up to the indicators tab and we search for volume. We click on our volume indicator here and you can indeed see that during the breakout right here the price had you know not too much volume but medium volume and you can see that during this break right here we had even less volume but now then to the most important part how do we actually use this indicator in our trading strategy and as for all trading strategies, we always want to combine multiple technical variables in order to take our trade. So let's take a look at an example of how we could have used this indicator to take a trade here. So first of all, let's zoom in on the chart right here and take a look at this candle right here, where it actually looked like we had a strong breakout. As you can see, we had a candle close far above the channel and also what we talked about earlier if you look down to the volume indicator you can see that we actually had a lot of volume during this breakout another thing i want you guys to pay attention to is the lows that came here before the breakout you can see we had one low right here we had yet another low right here and then we had a third low so we can see that it looks like we have a pretty clear support level right here so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna open up our horizontal line in trading view and i'm gonna draw a support line so now we have three things happening at the same time first of all we have a breakout second we have a breakout on high volume 
volume. And third, we have some market structure that can help us support our trade. And in this case, the market structure is this clear support level right here. And you may of course wonder, how can we use this support to help us in our trading strategy? Well, let's say that we actually entered our trade on this breakout. So we enter our long position right here. However, what you can notice here, and this is very important, you can notice that the breakout failed immediately and we saw a strong move towards the downside. And this is super important because a good breakout setups will actually many times fail. And not all bullish breakouts will lead to an immediate push towards the upside. But guys, let's actually use our replay mode here to take a look at how the market would have looked like at this point where we took the breakout. The positive thing about using market structure such as support and resistance, you can see here we have a very clear support is that we can use the market structure to adjust our stop loss level and our target level. So for example, because we have such a clear support here, we have one and two clear touches. We also got a strong reaction away from the support here, which is a good sign that the support is strong. In this case, where does it make sense to set our stop loss? Well, in my opinion, we have a pretty clear level to set our stop loss, and that is to set our stop loss below the support. This is a great level to set our stop loss because before this stop loss can get hit, the bears need to break this strong support. So we set our stop loss below the support and as for our profit target, let's use a measured move objective. And what do I mean by this? Well, go to the tab right here and use the rectangle shape. And what we can do when we have breakouts from trend channels is that you can basically measure, you know, what are the average swings here within the channel. You take the length of an average swing, you take this measurement right, and you measure from the breakout. So as you can see, we can have a profit target right here, which is about the, you know, equal length of the swings within the trend. So let's hide the indicator for a bit here, and let's take a look at how this trade played out. So as you can see guys, we immediately saw a move here towards the downside. And after a while, we hit our profit target and locked in some nice profits. And I think that this demonstrates, uh, you know, a very important thing. And that is that even though our trade got off to a very bad start, you can see the price immediately started to fall here. What was very important here is that we used market structure to set our stop loss. And as you can see, the price actually reversed just at our support once again here. So this support right here prevented us from losing the trade. The price went eventually in the right direction. It took a while, but eventually we locked in some very nice profits. All right, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're eager to learn more, I highly recommend you guys to check out this video about an indicator that actually predicts the next candlestick. I hope to see you all over there. Take care.